Hello and welcome to Informatica Support Videos. This is Sushma Reddy. Today we shall see a video where the steps are involved in creating the users in B2B Data Exchange. The users shall be created in the DX repository. So ideally, when you try to create a user, the user shall be created in DX repository and managed by the system administrator. Where for that the DX authentication mode has to be set to native. By default, it has the DX authentication mode will be set to ISP. So when it is set to ISP, the users and the passwords are managed by the administrator in the percent administrator console and maintained by the ISP are stored in the ISP security domain. So for changing the DX authentication mode from ISP to native, you need to run the repo util utility. The command is migrate to native command. This command has to be used to change the DX authentication mode from ISP to native. So let's go to demo where I shall show you these steps where you can create a new user and change the DX authentication mode from ISP to native. Log in to the DX console. So in the system properties, you shall be able to see the authentication mode by default it is set to ISP. So when this is set to ISP, when it, you shall be not able to create any users, but you can only sync up the users which are in the ISP security domain. So that is being maintained back in Power Center admin, admin console. So either, either you, can, you shall be not able to edit the, as I told you, you shall be not, you shall be having the authentication mode to set to native, only then you shall be able to create the uh, users but you cannot edit in the DX console this is being created so to achieve this you need to run the repo utility command is migrate to native command so for to, to do that firstly you need to stop the DX console So once the console is been stopped, go to DX uh, tools directory. The utility is repo util dot sh. I can see the command is migrate to native hyphen t is the type of the repository where the changes will be involved it is a dx repository or a dih repository you need to mention here there's another parameter called sysadmin where uh, when you run this command you shall be seeing all the users are being dropped but to log into the console we need an admin user who shall using which we shall be able to uh, connect to the admin console sorry dx console so for that you shall be passing a system admin privilege and you can create any user as per your requirement so i'll be doing it as administrator when this command is completed you will be able to see deleting all the users from the repository so earlier i had a user called administrator which has been deleted and we are adding a new user as i told you uh, when the dx authentication mode is set to native the users are maintained by managed by the system administrator so the new user is being added to system administrator as administrator so once the command is run successfully start the dx console Once you start the DX console, go ahead and log into the DX console using the credentials which you pass by running the command migrate to native. So I use system admin as administrator.
So you can see the DX authentication mode is changed to native and when you go to the users you can see the new user option being enabled. Click on new user. So before that I would like to show you something uh, about the user groups. So these are the five default user groups available administrator analyst developer operator system admin. So system admin is a user who has all the permissions privileges on the DX console where he can view, create, edit, delete, view events and any other uh, operations can be performed where the, all the four roles are involved. So you can give the user as a sysadmin or operator where you will be having limited privileges where other open he cannot use the MFT console cannot archive so based on uh, your requirement you can create a user and provide the permission as required user adx full name as x I'll be providing the you I'll be adding the user to user groups sysadmin where the user should be having all the permissions and privileges. You can log in uh, to DX console using the newly created user. So you can just verify the user ID is X. So when you log in, it requires username and password. So by default, it takes the user ID as username as well as password. So the user ID is X. So you can provide the username as X, password also as X. So login and you'll be able to access the DX console. You can refer to KB article 159225 which also provides the same steps as we discussed in this video KB article. We would love to hear from you so you can provide your feedback at support video search informatico.com tweeters at twitter.com info support and also provide your feedback in youtube youtube.com user info support thank you